Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara Lawson and today we're gonna do some reviews. Now, I'm disappointed because it's only like six masses, so I guess we're gonna do this quickly. Well, yeah, uh, last Saturday I did watch the WWE Extreme Rules. It was very great, man. It was fantastic and somehow I'm still disappointed there is no blood in there, so... Yeah, so I don't know why, man. But um, but right now um, we're gonna do this very quickly as we could. So yeah, but um, but let's get started. So this, so this one, the first match is the Brawling Brutes versus the Imperums in a six-minute tag team match. Good old fashioned Donny Brook match. And that shit was already starting very crazy. Like, I ain't know until then, man. Like, that was, that was a very crazy, bro. That was a very crazy match right there, man. I'm telling you. Like, like they broke brutal as hell. Including, uh, Seamus and, and Walter as well. Because, um, that shit, that shit was crazy, man. That match was very crazy. So... That's how we. That's how we're gonna. The first thing we're gonna start is eight point five out of ten. Cause that that mess is very crazy. All right, next is Ronda Rousey versus Liv Morgan in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. I gotta say, I'm a. I'm bit. I'm more disappointed because. I don't know how Ronda Rousey won the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship when it could be Liv Morgan still defending that title. And I know there's gonna be a lot of toxic asshole people out there because um you know Liv Morgan just a woman. You know you know cause he's just a woman and won the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Doesn't mean that she has to be the worst. I mean, I don't know why you, I don't know why it all these toxic people, toxic people out there that always want to cause somebody attention to hang on somebody, this and that. Like, come on now. Like I told y'all, Ronda Rousey doesn't need the, the SmackDown Women's Championship for now. And it's back from square one. Again, so I'm a little I'm disappointed. So, so I'm gonna say three out of ten. I'm sorry, but Lil Morgan should have won still. Cause it would be cool if they add us for Lil Morgan versus Bianca Belair. I mean, I know they don't want to do the Brett Brett's warfare anymore, and I I understand. So, yeah, but um. But yeah, man, three out of ten. Next is Karen Cross versus Drew McIntyre, which is crazy because you know there's a whole lot of belt whipping the match. <laughs> of course, God, I thought it were man. And um, I mean, it's kind of cool that Karen Cross won, but he could have, he could have won. I mean, he could have won if he, he was a, sorry, he could have won if he did this on his, on his own. I mean, from Scarlet, I mean, damn, I mean, damn, he's honest, hell, man. But I mean, from Scarlet, with that pepper spray, <laughs> like, she just, she just pepper sprayed Drew McIntyre, <laughs> like, what the hell? What the hell is that? Like, seriously? <laughs> See you there on the next Friday! <laughs> that, 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 was, that, was, that was funny, man. That was funny. Well, I'm gonna say another 8 out of 10. Well, just 8 out of 10, just in case. So, I mean, it was fucking brutal, but it couldn't make this match very long. But I, I understand, so, yeah. But uh, next is Bianca Belair versus Bailey. For the WWE Women's Championship on a ladder match. 
And I gotta say, I'm glad Bianca Belair is still defending that title for the for the Raw Women's Championship, of course. So I guess it could make sense if that would happen. Cause I know there's still a lot of racist people that always want to hate on Bianca Belair just because she's defending the. No, she still had the WWE Raw Women's Championship, which I'm okay with it, cause I thought it was gonna be. You know, for Bianca Belair versus Lil Morgan of the Survivor Series. Like, once again, there's no brand, brand warfare on Survivor Series. I understand completely how it goes through. So, yeah. But, um. But, yeah, man. Um. So, I'm going to have to say is 7 out of 10. It was great. But I never cared that much, so sorry, but yeah. Now we're gonna get to the good part. So um, we got Finn Balor versus Ez in an I Quit match. Now let's uh, let's stop the music for a minute, and um, let's um, let's um, yeah. <laughs> Somehow, there's a there's a there's a whole situation that got out of hand, and you know. So apparently, what happened? It's gonna be it's gonna be a one on one on one. I mean, they brawl it out very brutal from Finn Balor and Edge, and then who and then who comes out? It's the Judgment Day. It's Damien Priest and that spoiled brat, Dominic, Do yeah, Dominic, and Rhea Ripley. And I know I didn't be having some very trouble with Ed. And guess who comes out? Rey Mysterio. Now, Rey Mysterio came out. And, you know, um,. There's no sign of AJ Styles. Where the hell is AJ Styles? They could have just helped Ray Mysterio and um Edge. But it was too late. Again. But guess who came out? The Phoenix. Thank God. She has to return as well. But there is a problem though. We all we all know that thought that Ed was gonna win. If if Ed could have did a concerto, not with the chair legs, but with the concertos, he could have did that. He could have ended like that instead of it happening. But um, but guess who came back? Damon Priest, Dominic, and Rhea Ripley. Somehow Rhea Ripley hit her with a brass knuckle, which is fucked up. Cause I think that could be illegal. I don't know why, but but yeah, I I don't know why that happened. So <laughs> so yeah, but um, but somehow um, S is trapped with Dominic, Damian, and Finn. And what happens? Rhea Ripley is going to hit Beth with the concertos. And you know, um, and Ed says, I quit. And, hmm. And what happened? And what happened? Rhea Ripley just concerto Beth. I mean, the audacity to hit her with a fucking chair on a chair. That, that's, 
beyond way too much personal. Very personal, man. Like, 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 way personal, man, like, like, like the fans, I'm getting emotional, everybody was shocked, pauses, and take a look at what the hell this happened. Like, like that shit, like, I don't know how the hell that happened, man, like, like, that took it way beyond just happening, man. And now, we don't know what the hell we're gonna do. Cause Edge is what? Where? Where the hell Ray Mysterio at? He he couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop it. But no, he just had to to be there late. But then. I just really want to you to know this. If Ed would have did that to Rhea Ripley, would he, would he hit her with a spear or hit her into the concertos? It could just happen if WWE has the balls to do it or Triple H. Because Randy Orton did that. Randy Orton did it. Randy Orton, Randy Orton did RKL and Beth Phoenix. And probably, uh, what else? Uh, oh! Um, Nia Jax. And probably Stacey Kimbler. I was, uh, yeah, that's from the past, of course. Maybe Kane with Tori, of course. And probably Edge as well, cause I don't, I don't remember. Can y'all, can y'all comment down below? So, yeah. If WWE have the balls to do so, it would, it would be, it would be much happier if the fans would be get all hyped up. It would be a lot of pops, cause if I would have did that as a wrestler. What somebody did after my girlfriend like that, oh, I took way beyond personal. Because there's no, I mean, I would, I would be complete savage if I would have did that with somebody who was a manager or a, a C, of course. And you know, that's only the reason not to interfere in the match. Somebody's gonna get, somebody's gonna get straight to the gulag, or. Straight to hell or in a morgue or something. I don't know, man. Cause that's the only problems about it. People always get interfered in the match. Well, it's not for no qualification, of course. So that that's a uh, that's okay with that. That's only the problem. People are just afraid that when some leader was going to lose, and some you know a group full of people that's going to help them out, and they got involved. And all that, come on now. That that's beyond personal. And coward as well, cause um yeah, cowardly as well, cause I know that uh, the bloodline always does that every single time. And you know, that's one of the reason why like like I said, man, if you if they if they would if somebody would did that to my girlfriend like that, it took way way personal. I don't care about no fucking business or scripts or anything like that. This is beyond personal. Because I don't give a damn. I would have ended somebody's career, which I don't. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't I, I don't think so, cause um, I would have killed somebody, but <laughs> I would have go to jail. But I don't even care, man. I don't care, man. I, I would have sacrificed everything. I mean, I don't care about wrestling. All I care about is fight. If I want to fight somebody, I need to fight somebody, cause whatever happens to my girlfriend like that, that took it way personal. Cause I swear to God, I would beat somebody's ass. Man or woman, it doesn't even fucking matter. I'll bleed it out of them. Because that's one of the problems. I, I swear to God, man. I'll, I'll, I'll take that shit way beyond personal. Even for my family or my friends. Oh, that took way too much personal. I swear to God, man. Because like, I would definitely like beat the hell out of you. I don't care. I don't care if, I'm, if I don't want to throw some fake punches. I don't want to. I don't even want to throw them fake punches. Because that's, that's not on me. I want to throw some real punches. Because I don't give a fuck about that. I don't even care about my body. You know, if we did that at a death match, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Because I don't even care. Because, you know, that's one of the problems. Because it was taking that shit too further, even for the heel wrestlers, they don't even care about that shit. So, I took beyond further personal. If I would have did that to their manager, or the evil girlfriend, or evil wife, I don't even care. They should not got involved in the first place, and that's the problems. It's not Beth Phoenix's fault. That she got involved in the first place. That's only the problem. Y'all toss it, ass people don't know, don't know about that shit. I'm telling you, man. Y'all took for way more seriously about this, this happening right now. Cause like I said, if that ever happens to my girlfriend while I was wrestling, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be on be personal. I'm telling you. Keep fucking play with me. I'm telling you. I'm dead ass serious. Because knowing for the fact. I would have fucking snap. Like I would have snap. Like. Like I'm in rage mode. Like berserker mode. Like. Like I don't even care man. That's one of the problems. Because. Because. If you would have. Like I said. If you would have did that my girlfriend. That would be beyond personal, I'm telling you. Like. Like. Keep fucking play with me, I'm telling you, man. Don't, don't do that shit. This is, this is not how we, this is not how we go through this. This is not how, this is not no fucking, like, movies or evil, you know, villain turkey way too further than that. No. This is for real. And real and real life people get hurt very badly. And I'm telling you, don't do that shit. Especially when it comes to mine. Or Ed's. Because, it, like I said, it WWE has the ball to do so. To try to make this chance to see... If Ed speared Rhea Ripley or did a concerto on Rhea Ripley, I want to see that shit happen. Cause I don't even give a fuck if that is person. I don't give a fuck about none of that. None of that shit matters. Cause I'm telling you, bro, you took beyond personal. It's gonna be some personal, and I'm going to end you. And I'm gonna. I'm going to send your ass straight to the gulag. Because I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Alright. Don't take that shit very personal. Don't try to push me. All of that. None of that. Because I don't give a flying fuck. But y'all going to have to stop me. I'm telling you. But yeah, um... <laughs>
I'm sorry, man. I just had some very fucking rants about this whole situation, but yeah. So, um, <laughs> for Finn Bella, this is Ed's and I quit match. Um, uh, ten out of ten, nigga. That shit is fucking crazy. Like, goddamn. That shit is fucking crazy, man. Like, that took it way too much personal. I really wish it would happen in Edge this did Spear or did a concerto on Rhea Ripley. Cause I don't give a damn if you see I got like a brain injury or something because I don't even care man. I'm for real. I'm a realistic wrestler. Well yeah, not realistic wrestler but you know what I mean. Cause I would have never take that shit very personal if it wasn't my girlfriend being involved. Cause if that happens, I'm gonna snap. I'm telling you, I'm I'm going to snap. And I'm going in full realistic rage mode. And I'm going to end you. And take you straight to hell with me. Cause I don't give a damn. What nobody else has to say about me. Nobody at all. So yeah. Alright, so <laughs> sorry about that. But um but yeah man, um I right, we're gonna do the last one. And that is Matt Riddle versus Stat Rollins. I don't know what to say, it's that freaking Rollins. I don't gonna say Stat Rollins. In a fight pit Matt with Damio Cormier. Oh, that's the special guest referee of course, so yeah. Um I gotta say, that was a very great match. I think it's better than the last one. I think it's happened at NXT. Oh yeah, when he faced against Timothy. Yeah, I think that's the one. Cause um, um, it was great. Cause uh, you know, Matt Riddle's finally got his revenge of Sturt Rollins. Because you know, um, I mean it. I mean, I know it's better than, you know, from other, all the other UFC that does that every single time. I mean, if, if, I, if I ever wished I had volunteer for being on the UFC, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool, bro. Well, well, while I'm a wrestler, of course, I mean, I mean, that could be happening, of course, so, yeah. I, I hope so. But, yeah. So, um... What I'm gonna say is, mm, nine out of ten. Cause it's fantastic. I love it. But now we come to the end, cause I got a very surprise for y'all. Y'all remember when I react to the last time on Saturday? Guess who's finally the White Rabbit? I mean, I see in most of these videos, but guess who's the White Rabbit? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Bray Wyatt. That is right. Bray Wyatt has finally returned after months, after months, or probably a year, I, I think so. But yeah, I think it's like a year. For a long ass year, man. I don't think that's long, but. But he's finally back! After all that happens to last year. And, you know, they did Bray Wyatt dirty like that. And hopefully this year. They won't do it again. Because I want Bray Wyatt to become so much stronger and better and all of that. And you know, I'm so happy that I finally get the chance to see Bray Wyatt. Because you know, he's one of my favorites. Because you know, he, he's still one of my favorites because it always happened every single damn time. I'm telling you, bro. I'm so happy to see Bray Wyatt. For like, like a year. And you know, even though... And we finally get the chance to see Bray Wyatt. Where's he gonna go back? Raw? Or SmackDown? I hope so. 
because I guess I'm gonna have to start with raw first so yeah but um but I'm so glad I'm so happy to see Bray Wyatt once again and you know he's one of my favorites so far what's right about now of course and um I'm telling you man it's gonna be great to see Bray Wyatt's promo of course unless it could happen right by now because it is Monday and I think it's uh, coming in tonight at 8 o'clock because um, I think I hope I, I hope it'll happen so I think so but yeah but um that's it that's gonna be it for my review and for extreme rules for WWE extreme rules 2022 um, I'm gonna get this. Um, I'm probably gonna get this. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna get this nine and a half. Well, nine point five out of ten. That was a great one because because of Bray Wyatt's return. And I'm so happy to see him once again. Hopefully we'll see how it goes down this um this right about now this week. Whether it's gonna happen on Monday or a Raw or SmackDown, whatever he wanna go to. Let's hope it can happen, man. I hope it can happen, man. But yeah, so that's all that's it for my reviews. Let me know comment down below what you think about it. And I'm probably going to do my reaction videos for a little bit because I know uh, I'm going to be ran out of it. So, yeah. So, um. So, um. So, yeah, man. I'm going to see y'all on reaction videos. So, um. Stay tuned for that one. And, yeah. See y'all the reaction video.